So just updating the firmware on the FTM 400. Um, it ships with 1.9, I think. And um, yeah, this, this um, 2.0 firmware is the latest. So um, despite this being new, um, it's still shipping with the older older firmware. I think the I think the latest firmware comes out came out in July. So um, yeah, basically, it's it's probably sensible to sort of upgrade it to the latest. The DSP firmware doesn't need updating. That's um, that's two point one already. But yeah, it's um, it's always a way with radios with firmware that can be changed. You always find that uh, you know you're going to get a radio. You don't know whether it's going to be the latest new firmware or, or not. Um, to do this firmware, you basically got to take apart the radio, which is a bit a bit annoying. Um, but you've got to just undo the um, just two screws here, four screws on the top, and then another two on the side. You flip the top, and there's basically a little switch inside, um, which you get all the instructions with it to show you how it's doing how, it's, how to do it. But basically, um, there's a little switch right by one of the um, uh, microprocessors which you flick to the boot position and I presume it just puts it into a bootloader mode so that the firmware can be flashed once you've finished then you've got to um, switch it back um, otherwise the radio probably won't start so um, yeah we're, we're kind of up to 97% 90, there so we'll see how it goes